two different sites sharing the same story. You would actually feel it, feel everything shake. You would feel the ground shake, um, the foundation here. You would feel the building. You would see things on your desk uh, actually vibrate. Business owners like Don Jones say blasting at nearby construction sites is costing him thousands in damages. His business outside of the blasting radius for the nearby Amazon Air Hub. The insurance company basically told us that anything outside of 1,500 square feet they're not responsible for any damage. Burlington homeowner Richard Eisen lives nearly a mile away from the blasting zone. They said it should only reach about 1,500 feet, but obviously it's coming a lot further than that. He noticed cracks in his foundation months ago, but says he was never warned of the blasting. No one ever told us anything about it. Just when we just started feeling these blasts and we found the damage and you would have thought they would have let the homeowners know beforehand, so then they could have went around, videoed their homes and their property. And in Walton, we were told that 300 feet was the radius that they check or inspect houses. Amanda Shadler's home on Showalter Trace is 2,000 feet from the blasting site for the nearby Omaha Industrial Park. They did not make us aware when the blasting was actually going to start. Um, did not tell us how many phases they were going to be at that point. Shadler documented the damage after the fact with dates when the damage took place, something she says not everyone in her neighborhood can do. A lot of elderly neighbors that had no clue that this damage was going on. Pretty frustrating because I'm retired and I don't have the money to repair all this stuff. So here's what you as a homeowner can do right now. Take pictures and video. Document every nook and cranny of your home with timestamps. Save it on a hard drive. Update the pictures as needed for you to have as evidence. We were told it was going to cost us between ten and fifteen thousand dollars to bring an engineering firm in just to confirm the damage. Uh, so by the time you start spending that money, then you hire attorneys. Um, again, it may not be cost effective.